If you're new to Illustrator and you're used to using programs like Photoshop or Procreate to make digital art, you might be a little confused if you expect to sketch or draw in the same way that you would in those pixel-based programs. Illustrator does have drawing tools, but they work very differently than they do in raster programs, and the learning curve can be a little steep for beginners. So one of the first things I like to teach is constructing or building shapes instead of drawing them. A really helpful tip when you're first learning to make vector art is to try to shift your thinking and picture the shapes that you're creating as physical paper shapes that you're cutting out and layering on top of each other instead of thinking of it as sketching lines or blending paint on a canvas. For a really quick example of building shapes versus drawing them, let's take a look at making a basic crescent moon shape. If you were drawing in a pixel program, you would physically have to draw the curves, which usually involves sketching the line multiple times, erasing any mistakes, and refining until you have a shape that you're happy with. When you're building shapes with vectors, this is much easier. You'd start by just making a simple circle using the ellipse tool, then you'd duplicate the circle, copy and paste, scale it down just a little bit, and move it over to where you want to cut out your moon shape. Then you would select both of these circles, go into your Pathfinder panel, and use the minus front option to cut the smaller circle out from the larger shape behind. So with just a few clicks, you have a perfect crescent moon shape. This is just one really simple example of building versus drawing shapes, but you can use this technique to create really complex shapes and even full illustrations without actually using any of the drawing tools. This tends to be an easy place for people to jump in and get started using Illustrator, and it's a really common way of working, so I do highly recommend learning about the Pathfinder panel and the Shape Builder tools really early on. I'll put links in the description to resources and tutorials on the Pathfinder panel and the Shape Builder tool. If you are brand new to Illustrator, I would love to hear what other things you might be struggling with or find confusing, so please Please leave any questions you have in the comments down below. I'm always happy to help. As always, have a great day and happy illustrating.